This step is really short. If you are the student, the spouse, or the parent, you should answer no to this question. Anyone else should answer yes if they are completing the FAFSA on your behalf. Now it's time to sign the FAFSA. Do you remember the federal student aid pin we mentioned earlier? Well, this is where you enter that pin. If you don't have a pin or if you forgot it, you can click on apply for a pin or I forgot, don't know my pin. After you enter your PIN, you will be asked to certify to the terms specified and agree to provide any and all information your school may request in order to verify the information provided on the FAFSA. If you agree to these terms, select Agree. You will then be asked to specify how your parent will sign the FAFSA. If your parents choose to sign electronically, the parent signing the FAFSA should identify him or herself as either the father stepfather or mother stepmother and enter his or her PIN. Remember, signing electronically will ensure the timely processing of your FAFSA. Here your parents are asked whether or not they agree to provide any and all information your school may request in order to verify the information provided on the FAFSA. Requested information may include federal or state income tax returns filed. If your parents agree to these terms, click Agree. We recommend you review your FAFSA summary to make sure the information you are about to submit is accurate. Once you have reviewed your application, click Submit My FAFSA Now.